What's up everybody, I'm Z Wade, the Z Wade and Z Wade Photo, and I've got another quick lens comparison. This time, we're gonna do the 70 to 200 at f2.8 and at 85 millimeter, and the other lens we're going to use is the beautiful and brand new at the making of this video, 85 millimeter f1.2, but we're gonna shoot it at f2.8, to be fair. I already know which one of these I'm gonna like better because it's just night and day. One of them is absurdly intended for portraits and this is kind of more a well-rounded thing but anyway uh we're just going to take a couple of test shots and then check them out in lightroom so maybe just like uh over there somewhere we're using eye tracking boom and now i'm going to switch to the 85 one two you guys might notice that our friend claire the resident model for Z-Wade Photo is in a pretty interesting outfit. It's a Tinkerbell cosplay. Now, if you wanna see a full shoot that is completely designed around this outfit, you're gonna have to subscribe and hit the bell, that way you don't miss it. Isn't that huge? The fat. Interestingly enough, the compression actually looks pretty much the exact same. And so really it's gonna come down to like those little inner tonal details, the little uh, flavors that you get out of these really crazy expensive Nikon lenses. Not that the 70 to 200 isn't crazy expensive, but this is kind of, it's almost like niche, right? We are back in the Wade Works studio to compare the 70 to 200 f 2.8s and the 85 millimeter f 1.2s. Now, this one I feel like may be probably closer than other lenses. Before I jump into Lightroom, if you find yourself coming back to the channel and you're not yet subscribed, I do hope you'll consider joining our little family. So, image number one is going to be the 70 to 200 and the image number two here is going to be the 85 f 1.2. And let's check out the profile corrections first and see if one is better than the other. Let's check out the 70 to 200. Not too bad. The 85. Ah, the 85 actually has more distortion than the 70 to 200. Yeah, but as is usual, I actually think that the non-profile corrected images actually look a little bit better. I've I've found that on like all of my lenses, even like on a, like a wide angle lens where it's like it would be more apparent. It just looks a little bit sillier to my eye uh, after like a profile correction. So I usually just leave them alone. I feel like maybe the 85 has a little bit better of a color right out of the camera. Uh, but that's just for me because I have a dislike of ridiculous greens. I fight with greens all the time and I usually do a hue uh, adjustment on the background and turn them a different color uh, slightly. But um, I like my greens to be a little on the yellow side. Uh, but yeah, it just looks like the, the color rendition is slightly different, but that's totally subjective. You know, whichever one you like better. It's just a small observation. The... 85 f 1.2 very slightly has a more destroyed background i mean they're both really destroyed but if i'm looking they both have excellent separation from the background like this is a very hard edge it looks great both of these are doing a marvelous job at separating claire from the background let's get in and see what we can discover about sharpness this is a 70 to 200 and the, oh, you know what? The, the 85 at f2.8 is sharper. And I feel like it's kind of noticeably sharper. I just had to pull these up side by side because it's very hard to tell. Looking at the hair, oddly enough, it does seem like the 85 1.2 at f2.8 is a tad sharper, which is not what I was expecting. Now, if I look right here and right here, it kind of leads me to a little bit of an explanation of what I think I'm seeing. So my verdict as far as sharpness goes is the 85 millimeter at f2.8 compared to the 70 to 200 at f2.8 
The 85 is sharper at the point of focus, right? Which is in the eye in both of these cases. And so you could call that like basically the center, right? Even though it's not the center, but the fall off of the 85 as far as like into the background blur is more aggressive. And so the 70 to 200 seems like it's sharper as you get away from the point of focus, whereas the 85 gets a little softer. So this is weird because it's not perfect center, right? Dead center of the lens. But you could look at that as like taking a picture of a wall and then looking at like corner sharpness. And so if we did take boring pictures of a brick wall, I would imagine that the 70 to 200 would be a little uh, sharper and more put together at the edges, whereas the 85 would be a little bit softer. Now, if I look at these side by side, the 70 to 200 here, the 85 f1.2 here shot at f2.8, I can definitely see a more flat, I guess, rendering on the 70 to 200 and the 85 seems like it has a little more contrast. I'm seeing, uh, it's so similar. You might have to have a very, very well-trained eye to see this, but just like everything else, guys, the differences between these lenses are so small. So if the differences are so small, why do you pay basically, you know, three to $400 more for the 85 1.2 versus the 70 to 200? You're trading the versatility of a zoom for the versatility of a f 1.2. That is sharp, by the way, at f 1.2. So again, there's no right answer. It comes down to you. What do you need? right? It's not a good question to ask which camera lens is better than the other camera lens in the Z lineup because they're all so good and we're just like grasping at straws trying to find differences here. So you know what? I mean, I, I love the 70 to 200. I love the 85 F 1.2. The differences, I mean, you guys can see for yourself, you know, so get what you want. We're definitely not gonna do this without doing a little bit of an edit. So let's go ahead and rock through the 70 to 200 and then we'll just apply the exact same thing to the 85 F 1.2. I did that a little bit backwards. I actually did the 85 edit first and applied it to the 70 to 200. There's small differences in the lighting. And so the only thing I did different between the two is I individually brightened the face per image, but everything else is the exact same. And aside, aside from the green of the dress just being slightly different, I mean, they're almost indistinguishable. So there you have it guys, unless you're shooting like dedicated portraits, you are going to see that the 85 F 1.2 S is way more beautiful when you start getting close in for the headshots because it just does something beautiful whenever it falls off. But I mean, we're talking such small differences, just, just get whatever you want.